Hello, this is Pyle from Run Quiz Sideways, and today's daily video is on a topic of uh, I discuss very often with our members, and my understanding is a typical concern of anyone who is thinking whether they should or should not dive into PBNs. Uh, and the typical conversation goes like, I have six clients, I have 10 clients, but they're all in different niches. I can't really afford to build PBN for each of them. So they uh, they knew they might go, uh, I better rent uh, links from uh, someone else's PBN. Uh, and it's usually drives by uh, general perception that PBN should be niche specific. So if you go to uh, any place on a forum or any a Facebook group where the uh, people are uh, offering uh, PBN links, they all, all, always goes by niche. Where people looking for PBN links are, they're all asking for niche. I'm looking for travel uh, PBN, I'm looking for lawyer, a dentist, and so on and so on. So, uh, and of course, if you have a dozen clients, if, let's say 10 clients, you need to build at least 25 blogs PBN for them. So that's 20, 250 blogs and all different across all different niches. And um, I understand the typical concerns that what if clients gone? So I don't have that many, I don't have that much of the reach to replace the client uh, to recoup the investment. Some decided to go uh, kind of a small way and say, well, I, I have uh, 10 clients, but five of them are good. I will build, let's say five blogs, uh, net, small networks for each of them, which again, so a little bit, um, it's kind of downplaying the power of PBN because uh, when you scale it up, usually the effort is more or less the same, but impact is completely different. So you might put an effort of building five blogs PBN, but do not get any results. And the solution for this problem is surprisingly simple. If you think about uh, what kind of links your uh, local client requires, let's say you have roofer and you have dentist and you have, um, I don't know, car dealer. Um, so we all kind of tend to think that they need uh, links from dentist roofing or uh, automotive uh, type of uh, sites. But since they are local, it is as important to have links from local sites. That's why local directories are important. Local citations are very important. And here comes a solution that I personally use and I strongly suggest everyone I have usually conversation with. Build geo-targeted PBN. If your clients are local, you don't need five blocks of dental niche and five blocks of automobile time. Build 50 blocks on, uh, on your local uh, uh, network on a, a local targeted network. So I, I'm in Toronto, Canada. So let's say I'll build 50 blocks of uh, um, uh, Toronto, Toronto or Ontario uh, targeted. So I have 50 blocks strong local network. And of course, within the strong with the local network, I can place the links uh, pointing to my not only it usually eliminates the need to split up all of your blocks into small niches that are used for one simple client, but allows you to build bigger network. Let's say you can build easily 50 or 100 blocks network and you can replace your client as needed with uh, other clients from different niche uh, without jeopardizing the effort you put in uh, building your uh, geo-targeted network. So how you would do this? Uh, in your blog or like all the blog of your network, you'll create category or location based category. Like in my case, it will be Toronto, but it could be multiple uh, other categories per uh, locations. It could be like other large cities in the around your, uh, uh, around your location. And in these categories, you're going to post only uh, local content. So if you use, uh, uh, let's say in a case of uh, brand quiz, so you're gonna create a content meal and you will post, um, create a content meal that is specifically for uh, Toronto, let's say, and you'll post uh, primarily uh, dynamic content, news, RSS, uh, social uh, videos, and you will make those pages as the main pages, the homepage, more of those will come into the homepage of your blog. As a side effect, that will make your PBNs uh, much safer. So uh, I covered this before, uh, the major risk for PBN is to be reported by someone who just visited from your links or links profiles. 
uh, from a client you're promoting. And once you open once you open blog, the first question is why this blog exists. If there is a, like article on the dentist uh, general dental topic and they're linked to going to the dentist site, it is a PBN. It's, it exists for the sake of link to the to the uh, to the dental client. But if you open travel blog, if you open a blog uh, with the news about Toronto, it's less obvious. So you can build multiple of them. You can split them in different locations, might be different events. So uh, with all of this, you can do with uh, uh, run quiz content mill, specifying topics, uh, define uh, you know, RSS feeds. And uh, as I said, primarily post uh, dynamic content that Google will consider newsworthy. And you go to settings and you specify the categories. So the categories, will be going either random so we recently added option to to use category as a topic but in this case i would use one generic a category toronto if blog is about toronto that will be toronto content will be posted on the main category and then i'll create uh, uh content uh content buckets for the uh professionals so the based on your uh, client uh, client's niches, let's say the chiropractor, animal hospital. So you create them and you will post them the separate category on your blog that it doesn't really go to the home page. So as a result, you can have authority site that is primarily authority on your local or on your on your location. So and there are categories for roofers, car dealers. Um, animal hospitals and so on if you use sideways you can use dynamic tags for for the home page that will be specifically on location base you don't need to refresh home page all the time you can create a sticky page and will put a dynamic uh, lots of dynamic tags that will pull a uh, uh, refresh and every seven days will pull new video new news article new new content and it's all going to be like whoever visits the site they will see that it is pretty recent uh, data content on the topic of your location but uh, you create a category so let's say i go to the um, site there's a site on the topic of yoga and we have categories so you create categories and you post in there it's like this is all about yoga but in your case it could be toronto and after that dentists uh, uh electricians and uh and 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 more um if you use sideways you can also customize uh your category with the uh customized content that goes specifically to the uh to the category let's say if i open this site here it is it's it is a, a yoga blog but imagine this is a toronto blog and um you go to category Here it is. The category could be customized with the content that it will attract more specifically. Um, um, so first of all, it will be aggregation of content for the uh, uh, for this specific niche, but it also will customize header. Will put more on the topic of let's say dentist or a chiropractor. So with this approach, we'll create blocks, authority blocks, local authority blocks with the proper. Uh, silo structure the top will be toronto then will be toronto dentist toronto uh toronto news toronto dentist toronto uh, chiropractors and so on so of course the link building will be different so you need to build uh chiropractor links backlinking uh, all uh, articles in the chiropractor uh category and the category page itself but um uh, that's a different setup for the link building, but that will allow you easily create 100 pages, 100 blogs, PBN, very solid, large PBN that you can utilize for all of your clients. You can remove links when you don't need them from uh, from categories without affecting the whole pipe PBN, and you can add new client almost immediately, instantly. You have a new client, you add a new category on all of them, again, with, uh, with Brunquiz, uh, you don't even need to go for every blocks, whether it's like uh, WordPress blocks or sideways. So you create a, a new, you create new bucket, you specify category when you set up.
submission to post on this category, uh, a system will automatically create this category on all of these blogs in your network if it doesn't exist. So you create, then you'll set up multi-tier net uh, backlinking and you'll start backlinking with the dental content, the pages uh, on the con uh, my dental dental uh, content in all of your blogs and you'll make them strong. So you will make niche strong categories pages while the main uh, main page of the site will be local specific. So there are tons of advantage. You can unite all of your clients in one PBN. You don't need to hand uh, renting links from others like looking for the specific niche you want your client to promote. You will make your PBN safer because it will look like a new site on, on your um, on your location and with the proper setup of the content meal, it will be regularly updated. It will be just doesn't look as stall content and uh, overall will uh, make uh, your uh, ACO practice uh, much, uh, uh, much uh, better. Well, that's it. That's, uh, that's all for video. Uh, thank you for watching and thank you for using uh, Brunquist. As, as always, I'm looking forward for your questions and suggestions in our Facebook group.